Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Florida Drive. I am in Sarasota. I actually am Bradenton, Florida, and I'm on East State Road 64. And it's really weird, all these roads in Florida. State Road 64, State Road 69, State Road 22. It's really, really odd the way they have their roads listed. But either way, Florida, some people like Florida, some people don't. It's about 81 degrees. It's about uh, 1.51 in the afternoon, and it's uh, uh, Wednesday. Some people like Florida, you know, family members always say it's too hot. Me, I don't really give a rat's ass if it's hot or cold, so I so try to make some kind of living, you know what I mean? And I don't know why people complain about temperature. They should just, if they're not working, complain. I and mean, that'd be a better way to do it, but, you know, you know how it goes. Sometimes people just get caught up and they like to complain about things. Complaining is the, a big thing in the United States. People complain about the government. They complain about other people. They complain about everything. So, who knows? Um, I hope everybody, in spite of everything, is not complaining and doing good. But, thanks for tuning in to my Florida Drive-By. I hope everybody's doing healthy, wealthy, and wise. Please subscribe. Please view. Please make comments. Please discuss things. Tell me if you like the drive-bys, or you hate the drive-bys, or you want the drive-bys, or... I'm going to drive by somewhere else. But um, today I wanted to bring up a subject, and this is going to be about uh, what's a better custom 1911 to buy? And, now that's kind of a difficult question because everybody has their own tastes. Um, basically, when you get over a certain price, all guns are pretty much going to be pretty good. Now, when I say just pretty good, I mean because each manufacturer has different features. And like I say, in the past I owned a Nighthawk Custom, a uh, Wilson Combat, an Ed Brown, and a few of the other ones like, you know, Kimbers and Springfields, and the Advanced Armor Bit and Remington and stuff. And looking at all the guns, taking them apart, uh, cleaning them out, looking at them, looking at the internals, see how they work. Uh, I come to respect them quite a bit. And looking at them, uh, basically I have this kind of opinion on them. Uh, I can break it into, you know, the three of the guns that I did own. Three of the five. The 1911. I would have to say, breaking them down and looking at the Ed Brown, looking at the Wilson Combat and the Nighthawk Custom. Uh, Ed Brown would be probably the lower end, high end gun, meaning their guns are below $3,000. Nighthawk is the mid range, high end gun, meaning their guns are anywhere three, uh, you know, 30, 30, like 33 to like uh, 42. And then Wilson Combat being higher end, and those are, of course, like in the 3000 to. 10,000. So, what makes them so different to each one of them? The Ed Brown, you're not getting a lot of features on them. You're getting basically what they have. There's a lot of features you can add to them, however, that's going to be extra. Uh, the Nighthawk Custom, they come with what they come. And there's a few features you can add to them, but not much. But the guns have a lot of good features. I mean, like, uh, Serrated top of the slide, uh, uh, nice gripping cuts front and the back on the serrations. Uh, you know, uh, checker front and back of the mag well, blended mag wells, recessed slide stop, uh, extended uh, slide safety, and ambidextrous slide safeties, uh, night sights crown barrel. So they, they have a lot of features with them that are already in the gun. And one thing which is I noticed, which is really phenomenal, when you take the guns apart, inside of it has um, if you look inside the Nighthawk, you see a lot of angled cuts, which impresses me that they took the work to do that, to cut those angles in there. Also, um, the cocking ramp, okay, which is on the bottom of the slide, where the disconnector rides into. So if you flip over the, um, the slide, 
and you look at the rear of it, you'll see a little beveled area. That's your disconnector pocket or your disconnector rests on. But if you look over to the front where the firing pin area is, you'll see a little cut. It's a ramp. They have that on all their Nighthawk Customs. That's not on any gun. I haven't seen it yet. And what that allows you to do is for the gun to cycle smoother, but you don't get that hit from the disconnector snapping up against there. And it actually would prevent uh, wear. But, I mean, they have a lot of features already in the guns. They're nice. And their customer service is great. It, it's not a real long wait time. Neither is Ed Brown. I will have to say Ed Brown and Night Owl Custom have great uh, wait times on their tech support. They answer pretty fast. Uh, Ed Brown is pretty fast, too. Uh, Wilson Combat is the third one. Well, Wilson Combat's a nice gun, but um, you can charge for almost everything you had. They have a lot of features. I mean, that's why you can spend so much. Like their super grades, they start at five grand. That's for a bloom. Then if you want stainless, and if you want polished, and if you want the, you want cursive writing, if you want sights. I mean, you can get up to about. I mean, actually, to make get a nice super grade, you're going to have to spend about sixty five hundred or seven thousand to get a really nice looking cut. And all that's added up, all them little components and stuff like that. Uh, it's a lot of fluff on it. I mean, the gun is great. I mean, they're great looking guns. They do do a quality job. They're all three are quality guns. But uh, for what you're getting in the gun, feature wise, you got to pay for a lot more. But there's a lot more features you can get. Though for Wilson, they make, you know, they make NFA weapons, and they make shotguns and rifles and everything too. So they make quite a bit of guns. So for me, I like the Nighthawk Custom. I think you get a little bit better value for your money and you're getting that added internal features you know and I've got a few videos out where I compare them and I take them apart but the only way you really know is to take those guns apart and look inside of them you know uh, whether you're looking at a three thousand dollar at Brown a forty three hundred dollar Nighthawk custom or a sixty five hundred dollar Wilson Compact those are kind of the price ranges there's not much be difference in price between the Nighthawk and the Wilson uh, if you didn't get all those features. Maybe about $1,500. But you've just got to decide what you like. And another thing I don't like, Wilson Combat no longer sells bobtailed guns. So they have like a, a carry cutter, whatever it is, some kind of rear. They just slice them. So I like uh, bobtails on guns. That's why I like the Nighthawk Custom, uh, Talon, that's a really nice looking gun, or the Ed Brown. I like the bobtails. I just think they're superior looking with those bobtails. It's just, oh, it's just a sweet looking gun. It just looks so pretty. It's nice looking. And, uh, of course, that's my opinion. And everybody has an opinion, you know how that goes. Everybody has something, you know, an idea of what they think their perfect awesome gun is uh, but that's a breakdown of those three and why I think the Nighthawk Custom is the best out of all of them because you could go get a Bob Marble for if you call Nighthawk Custom they'll give you a break and a 4100 loaded a beautiful Bob Marble I mean and that's all you probably need that's what I'm doing. I'm scaling down my guns. I just need to have a few nice, really high-end guns. I don't care about having 1,500 guns. I, I don't need all those. I couldn't shoot them in a lifetime. But if I have select few nice, really guns that I know I could sell if I ever had to, that's all I want. But thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in to Florida Drive-By. I appreciate everybody for viewing, subscribing. Uh, let me know if you, know, you want me to do any other videos. I can definitely do them. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.